Okay, now we're going to measure um, probably the most difficult step, which would be a pie step. Uh, here we have radius dead shear, we have a center post, um, and the key here is to measure one step at a time. There's no sense trying to measure five or six or eight because it's going to go around a corner and you're not going to see it. So on page one, you would put step one and riser one. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start out in line mode, um, start a new line. We just hit two points on this back uh, wall here. As long as I'm in line mode, I'm going to hit the back of this target, which the camera can't see, but it's there. And I start a new line. <clears throat> and I hit this target here on the back, which the camera also cannot see. I'm going to have to erase that edge there because I messed it up. Now, I'm going to switch to arc mode. and draw an arc where the post is, with three points. And then, start a new line and draw an arc over here. Because this wall is also curved. So in the drawing, I can simply fill it sharp from here to there, there to there, there to there, and there to there. There it is. Now, we have a riser, which is eight inches. It's very simple. We're going to use our backsplash feature here. Draw a backsplash that's eight inches tall. And we're not going to leave a blade width. That would be zero. So there's no effective offset. Okay, so now we tap on these two corners here and go that way. So now what we've done here is we put step one and riser one on page one. Step two, riser two, page two. Step three, riser three, Page three. It's very simple. You can't get them screwed up, and you're always going to be very simply moving from step to step. You have to do them all individually anyway. Hence, the steps.